So let's say we want to show that there are infinitely many prime numbers. So first let's recall what is a prime number. A prime number is a natural number which is greater than one, which is only divisible by one and by itself. In order to show that there are infinitely many of these numbers around, we will use the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. And that says any integer greater than one can be written as a product of prime numbers. It says even more. It says that this product is unique up to the order of the primes. So let's take a natural number, 68. 68 can be written as 2 times 2 times 17. Can also be written as 17 times 2 times 2. You get the drift. So basically that means the primes are always unique up to the order inside the product. Now the theorem we want to show goes back to Euclid and it was initially the first time it was proved already in 1737. So it's antique, one might say. Now there are infinitely many prime numbers. How do you show that? It's a proof by contradiction. Suppose there are only finitely many. And let's call them p1, p2, up to pn. So we take these finitely many prime numbers, p1, p2, up to pn and use them to construct a new integer, m. We multiply them all together and add 1. And this new integer, let's call it m, is obviously by construction greater than 1. And now we have the fundamental theorem that tells us that m is a product of prime numbers. That means that m contains a prime factor. Let's call this prime factor pj. So pj must be one of our finitely many primes. It has a prime factor, that means we can write m as pj times some integer l. So, in other words, if we divide m by our prime, pj, we get remainder 0. So, m equals pj times l means when we divide m by pj, we get remainder 0. But if we look at the way we constructed our m and we read this and check what it means that we divide m by pj, pj will sit in here. pj is one of our finitely many prime numbers. And looking at this here, that will give us pj times some integer plus 1. So here we get remainder 1. So looking at m this way, we get remainder 0 when we divide it by pj. Looking at m the way we started to construct it, we get remainder 1. So 0 is not the same as 1. So we get a contradiction. So we have used proof by contradiction. Our initial assumption that there are finitely many primes must be wrong. Hence, there must be infinitely many of them. And we are done with the proof. So we are done with our proof and we have shown that there are infinitely many prime numbers.
around, using proof by contradiction.